Uh, Boris Johnson says a boost in defence spending needed because the world's in a more perilous state than at any other time since the Cold War. And he's absolutely right. Of course, Lloyd Russell Moyle is a Labour MP for Kemp Town and Peacehaven um, in uh, where well, we used to have our cottage in, uh, in and around right, Brighton. Yeah, right. yeah. Uh, Lloyd, good evening to you, sir. Hello, good evening. I know you haven't got long, Lloyd, so I'll be quick. Um, this is a great idea, isn't it? Well, it's restoring some of the cuts. Let's remember the Conservative government cut 33,000 regular personnel from the uh, mm. armed forces in the last five years, and they woefully underfunded uh, them on this kind of fake austerity that they have put us through because the banks had messed up, not normal people. So, yes, is it right that we put uh, money into our armed forces uh, quite? Uh, as I pointed out to Boris today, in the 90s uh, and early 2000s, Britain was the biggest personnel contributor to peacekeeping missions around the world. That keeps us safe, but it also contributes, of course, to peace elsewhere. It's the right thing to do. We are now one of the smallest in terms of proportion mm. to our army, and that is disgraceful. However, what he said is none of this money will be used to hire um, uh, more personnel. It will be used to stop further cuts that they were going to plan and to buy some kind of... Uh, better equipment, which is mm. all to be welcomed. But I, I do think, as many Conservatives pointed out, that actually warfare is not just, as we've seen in some of the latest conflicts, it's not just about the latest technology. That is important. It is also about having people to engage with people on the ground, because that's actually what a lot of the conflicts mm. are based on. We're never going to be able to compete and, with and people, the amount of people, no, though, are no. we, against the China? I mean, I, I, no, no, on, I, no, no, but, but I, don't, I don't buy the premise that this is a big war against China. I buy the premise that this world is more unstable. Mm. You've got the conflict with Azerbaijan and Armenia. Mm. You've got these. Trust me, this is about that's, this is about that, China, Lloyd. That's that's where I think we Lloyd. It, Lloyd, China is is whittling away at us and everybody else okay, it can well. whittle away at at the moment. And what we need to do, I, I think we do need more personnel in the armed forces, but yeah. we don't need a huge amount. What we do need is the latest state of the art. We're going to have new aeroplanes that won't need pilots. We're going to have all kinds of weaponry well, that we can I, I, deploy I, without I think humans. The, the, the Chinese threat and the Russian threat you know, I think is a threat from these big superpowers, um, mm. of course. Well, it Russia's actually, not really a superpower, is it? Well, it just well, thinks it is. Well, yes. OK, okay. We, 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 it, it, whether it is or it isn't, it has, of course, taken part in offensive operations on British soil in the last five years. So like, kind of, mm. it is a threat. Um, those threats actually... Um, are needing more resources on our cyber security. And that's a big threat. We know that China, for example, or, or um, servers in China that we think belong to the Chinese state, but uh, I'm pretty sure, but you, know, you can never say 100% with these things. Um, of course, we're hacking into the Oxford vaccine trial stuff and trying to get that stuff. Um, so we know that that's a problem. That actually is an investment in our, um, in, in our uh, secret services, in our intelligence mm. services, and our... our, our um, our capability on that side, which, of course, needs to happen as well. That's not where this money will be spent either. Hmm. Well, I think, you know, what we need to do, though, is, uh, uh, is convince the people, because a lot of people, unfortunately, I'm, I'm not being rude about you, Lloyd, obviously, you know how much I love you, um, <laughs> just perhaps the socialist ideals of not really doing much in the way of uh, defending yourself but becoming mates with all the superpowers you don't like. Um, has stopped, and I think we just need to make people realise that we do need a very, very tough defence in uh, you, because the world is getting more dangerous. Because never mind need... about bullying in Parliament, let's worry about real problems out there of uh, other countries who are trying to undermine us both uh, uh, cyberly and physically. We, we need to invest, of course, in our system. That doesn't mean that it should be a zero-sum game of then not investing of things at home. We need to, of course, invest in our old people and child protection at home when we're seeing councils falling over. But we can do both. And the people who try and say it's one or the other, I think, actually are underselling Britain. Yeah. But, of course, you're never going to get into government until you sort out the problem with Jeremy Corbyn, are you? So you're not going to be in government doing anything for quite some time. They've sorted well, I hope, that, I hope that we'll sort that out uh, very quickly. But <laughs> yeah, that's, that's for processes way above my pay grade. 
to sort out. But I do Lloyd, hope that Jeremy. When are you uh, going to be in the? Sorted out. When are you going to be in the shadow cabinet, Lloyd? I mean, I'm hoping for big things well, I from was, you. I, I was, I was a shadow foreign minister under not shadow <clears throat> secretary, but shadow foreign yeah. minister under Jeremy, and I was briefly shadow environment minister under Keir. And over the summer, mm. I decided to take a step back because uh, um, because of a number of issues. Um, uh, but uh, <laughs> but at the moment, I am enjoying. Uh, working on things um, uh, that I am, including, um, and we're doing a big inquiry at the moment that I'm uh, leading on, which is around the role that Turkey plays in, uh, in, in with the Kurds uh, and the repression there that's happening with the Kurds. Mm-hmm. The Kurds have been our very long allies in that region doing very good things and constantly, whether it's uh, 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 Iraq or whether it's um, Syria or whether it's Turkey have constantly oppressed them, mm. and, and and I and I want to make sure that we're supporting them. So that's what I'm leading on the big uh, uh, listen, on that, uh, and I'm doing some domestic stuff on housing as well. I'm happy about that because <clears throat> I think Turkey's getting away with all sorts of appalling yeah. things with their um their leader. At the moment, yes, he's a religious he's not nutter. A, not a good guy, yes. No, yeah. I agree totally. Uh, Lloyd, good to talk. We'll talk again. I know you don't have much time. Lloyd Russell Moyle, Labour MP for Kemp Town and Peacehaven in yeah. Brighton. Yeah. yeah.